Hello. This is the Rex Betty through a professional staple gun. Um, comes a case. Very nice case. I always like when things that have multiple parts to them, or like, you know, this is a staple gun, it's gonna have, it's gonna need staples. Um, you know, I like to keep everything together because you can't see my house, but I got a lot of stuff and things get misplaced pretty easily. And so I like to keep things together, um, you know, organized. So anyway, I really liked this one. I, I needed a staple gun because I kept borrowing my parents' really old staple gun from like, I don't know, probably the 70s or the 80s. It's kind of a olive green color, so probably the 80s. Um, whenever I needed a staple gun, which isn't very often, but occasionally I've got to put some stuff up, especially like to keep my cats out of certain areas. Um, and I need a staple gun. So I was looking online for something just to have around the house. And this one looked like um, a really great deal because of uh, the staple remover, which, um, you know, theoretically, you know, someday you might want to remove a staple. And then the staple gun looks like it's all metal, which is nice. Um, and then it all came in this case. It also comes with um, three different types of staples, which I did not know that there was more than just a regular um, square staple. There's also a, um, kind of rounded one. It kind of reminds me of like, if you were to put a round cable, like, um, like this is a USB cable, like it would go around this. So it could, you could really use it for something, maybe like putting up Christmas lights or, uh, you know, permanently putting in a, like a power cable for a, uh, outdoor device, like a camera or something that's going to be permanently there. It'll keep it, you know, really tight in there. Um, which is always nice. And then it's got this weird little like T-shaped one. It literally is like a T-shape. I'm not quite sure what you would use that for. Um, to be honest, I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason why it was invented. I am just unaware of that purpose right now. So let's see. First thing we do is, I was trying to open the wrong way. So FYI, you don't open this way. You open from the back here and then Pop it open. Um, this is just cheap plastic. It would have been nice if this was, uh, you know, a little bit more sturdy, long-term solution. Um, but here it is, the stable gun. It is nice and heavy. Um, there's so much plastic these days that it's hard to find good stuff. So this is um, this is all metal. There's a little bit of a grip in here, like this orange part in here is uh, like a rubbery grip, which is nice. This back part is a different kind of rubbery grip like this is a smooth rubbery grip this is kind of more textured so you can get a good grip on there um it's nice and metal it's got some kind of little kickstand thing I'm not quite sure what that is for to be honest uh, I have no idea I'm sure there's some purpose for it maybe it's just to hold something on and then we've got a staple remover. The oranges are not exactly the same, but uh, you know, here's a staple remover to try that. I don't know how those work. And then here are the T shape and the U shaped uh, staples. I'm just kind of curious to see what they look like. So here is. These are the T-shaped ones. I mean, they are they're like a tiny little T. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It's a tiny little T. I'm sure there's some perfectly good use for them. I feel like when I saw them, I was thinking, oh, I might be able to use the hang. I have to hang some um, wire screening. I was kind of thinking maybe that would work for that. But I'll try it and see. And then here are the U-shaped ones. And... Uh, so interesting. I have no idea they made u shape staples. Never heard of it. So let's put this. I'll deal with that later. Put that back in there. And then, so there are 800 of the U shape and 800 of the T shape. And then this is the normal square shape. And there are a thousand of these. So that's a lot of staples. So I won't have to buy staples probably for a while because I don't use that many staples. Um, so these are just, they look like normal staples. Um, they all have a nice bevel to them. We'll have to test it and see. I don't have a piece of wood with me. 
I'm just going to see. There's no instructions or anything that comes with it. Um, there's nothing on the back. I mean, it's a staple gun, I guess. I don't know if it already has staples in it. I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, staple guns. You... Have to. Oh, it's been a while since I've messed with the staple gun. Okay, so yeah, you pull that. So to get the loader out, you push down right here and then pull forward. And then you can pull this out. Um, so we're just going to put some normal staples in. Hmm. I really thought that would fit. Oh, I bet you they go like this. Uh, I always thought they went on the outside like this. Maybe, oh, maybe. It's been a while since I loaded a staple gun, guys. Bear with me. I'm thinking... wondering if there's something else I need to do. I think you just put them down there and then we put this back, slide that back in. And I have a thick piece of cardboard roll. I'm assuming I should be able to staple this. I had to use two hands. That is tight, um, which is probably a good thing. I think you can, I'm not sure what this screw is for. I'm sure there's something for it. I'll have to see if they have any, um, I didn't look to see if there's anything on uh, online about instructions, but I'm gonna, oh, that didn't, maybe I went too tight. Maybe it needs to be looser. What did I do to this poor staple gun? There we go. Oh yeah, that went nice and good there. And then you can actually see it sticking through. So this is probably about a quarter inch. Um, and it's sticking through probably another quarter inch. So I think they're about half inch. Uh, deep. Oh, they only talk millimeters four and four fifth four to 14 millimeters so yeah I mean I think this will be great I um have to hang some stuff and I may use this for that um so I will test it out some more but I mean I, I for me for the little use I'm going to do this is probably going to be the perfect staple gun um since I won't be using it like you know, daily, like a lot of maybe more professional people or people that use staple guns more than me. Um, I don't know what the long term uh, lifespan is. I mean, it, this looks just like the one that my parents got in, like I said, like probably the 70s or the 80s, and it's still going strong. Uh, this is actually probably a little bit heavier than theirs, heavier duty for sure. Theirs is all just metal, doesn't have any of this plastic, um, nice grip stuff on there. Uh, but it feels very similar. It's got the same little removable thing here. So I would think probably the only thing that might possibly break is this remover thing. So just be careful with that. Uh, that was probably the most delicate quote unquote part. Though I, I have no, you know, no reasoning for that, except that, you know, it's just, it's a spring and, and thinner metal. So I think this is the perfect uh, staple gun for people um, in my bracket of not a, big user, uh, but it probably would be just fine for somebody that uses it more often than me.